Hi guys, welcome back to my plant video. Thank you so much for watching and for those of you who are new, please like this video and I hope you will subscribe. So in this video, I want to feature my dumb cane. <laughs> but my dumb cane is currently not in a good mood because as you can see, look at all the leaves. They're so yellow and very limpy. So obviously, there's something wrong with this guy. I will try to save it. I, I honestly don't know if I can still save this dumb cane. But I will try my best because you just... You don't throw plants like this in a bin straight away. You have to do something about it, you know. And yeah, that's what I really want to do. And because... I can still see new growth here so I'm thinking there's still hope in this plant and what I'm gonna do is I will replant this to another pot and with the fresh soil and I'll try to remove probably rotten roots if I see rotten roots um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I need to do this outside in my patio because we I don't want to make a mess in our dining room. So yes, let's begin. I'm here in our patio and it's really nice and sunny here. It's really, really bright and it's perfect time to do planting video. So let's start this. But before I start, I just want to warn you that this dumb cane is poisonous. So when you want to deal with dumb cane better, wear gloves because if you accidentally put your hands in your mouth or into your eyes it's not really good because it's poisonous so let's be very careful with that so yes let's begin i want to wear my gloves of course i want to tip it over to this basin because i don't want to put the old soil into my fresh soil so let's do that So right now, I'm just removing all the dead leaves. So after that, I'm only left with these ones right here and if you can see the roots, I don't think there's something wrong with it. It looks healthy, it's white and it's firm. It's not soggy at all. So I don't know what went wrong with this dumb cane. But anyway, I will try my best to save this plant and I will give you updates if I'm successful or not. I will just just trim off a bit of the roots. And I will get fresh soil using this new planter. This is just a recycled planter. So, make a position, just put it in the middle.
This is my regular potting mix. Nothing special. And just try to press so it will stand on its own. So now it looks good and just fill some more. There you go. So this is my dumb cane. And let's just hope for the best. So now we're back in our dining room and this is my dumb cane. It looks healthy now without all the yellow leaves. I will just water this dumb cane and then I will update you guys on how this dumb cane is doing. I hope it will survive. So I'll probably see you guys on the next video and update you all regarding this dumb cane. See ya! Hi guys, so today is exactly 7th day since I repotted my dumb cane and this is what it looks like right now. There. And I have to tell you guys that it didn't do any better. As you can see, it's all wilted and so limpy. Look. So, so yeah, it's like I'm just waiting for it to wilt and die. But as of this moment, I just couldn't throw it in the bin straight away. And yeah, I, I was just really bummed out. I'm so upset and sad because I really fell in love with this dumb cane at the moment I first saw it. It's like love at first sight. So when I saw it, I immediately picked it up. Yeah, but... I, I really thought that this dumb cane is really easy house care plan to care of but I was wrong or maybe it's just me I'm not sure if it's the environment that it's living with or the position or I really don't know because I don't overwater this I never I never overwater my plants and this one in particular I water maybe every 10 days or maybe Probably I was wrong, that's why it died on me. But yeah, it's just so sad. So, that's my dumb cane. <laughs> and yeah, I couldn't do anything about it. It's too late to fertilize, of course. And yeah, winter, winter time is coming in New Zealand. So I know that winter time is dormant for all plants, for all house plants. Yes, so. Yeah, so that's my dumb cane. And I don't want to end my video on a really sad note. So on a brighter side, <laughs> I want to show you a look of my bathroom. So some of my plants are living there. And I just want to show you a quick look in my bathroom. Okay, let's check it out. So here's my bathroom shelf i just got this yesterday at kmart it's only 39 dollars so it's a really good deal and i put my prayer plant on top because this is the tallest plant and it couldn't fit on the second shelf and i hope you watched my video regarding my prayer plant i featured this in one of my video so please check it out i'll probably put the link there so you can see the video and second shelf I put my spider plant so for now it still fits there when it grows I'll just find a spot for her so yes and that's my snake plant that's my succulents and these are all from leaf leaf cuttings and they've grown so I'm so pleased with that this is my lipstick plant this is just a random bottle a jar and I just put this here so yeah it feels I think that this lipstick plant is really happy on the windowsill and this one is a new growth this one here and this one here so I'm so pleased with that Yes, I don't water it 
often because I don't think it needs so much water and since they are living in the bathroom so they get a really nice moisture and there's one more plant here which is my bird's nest fern and she's living just here on the sink and I put her here on my chihuahua cup here so I just feel it's so cute so yes so that's my few collections in my bathroom there I'm so happy with how it looks like right now I'll probably add one more plan here I'm not sure which one to pick so I'll wrap it up guys thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe if you haven't already and please like this video if you do and yes I'll hope to see you in the next one bye guys